Hello students, welcome to my channel Champions Learn and Grow. Today we will study about vitamins and minerals of your chapter 2 that is components of food. So let's start a chapter. So students, what are vitamins and minerals? Vitamins and minerals are known as protective foods. Why? Because they protect us from various diseases and keeps us healthy. So let's talk about vitamins. Uh, vitamins are the nutrients which are required in, by our body in very small quantities as compared to carbohydrates, fats and proteins. But they are very important as they help in keeping our eyes, bones, teeth, gums and he gums healthy. There are two types of vitamins, water soluble vitamins and fat soluble vitamins. Among the water soluble vitamins, there are two types of vitamins, vitamin B and vitamin C. And among the fat soluble vitamins, there are vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E and vitamin K. Students, my friend Rita wants to get rid from her glasses. So, she should take vitamin A as vitamin A keeps her, keeps her eyes and skin healthy. Now, what are the sources? It includes mostly yellow and green vegetables and fruits. Fruits include mango, papaya, melon and among the vegetables, carrot, pumpkin and leafy vegetables. It is also present in milk and fish. So, we must com consume vitamin A in order to keep our eyes and skin healthy. Now, vitamin, second vitamin is vitamin B complex. Now, why it is called as B complex? Because it is made up of small units of various vitamin B. Like it is made of vitamin B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6 and B12. It is very important vitamin as it helps our brain, nerves and muscles to function properly. It also plays an important role in the growth and the development of body tissues. And what are the sources? It includes legumes, whole grains, almonds, eggs and dairy products. Apart from this, we get it from spinach, kale and from the fruits like banana, avocado, meat, liver and fish. Now, the next vitamin is vitamin C. Vitamin C is a very important vitamin. It helps in the healing of wounds and protect us from variety of diseases. It is also called as immunity booster as it provides our body immunity against various diseases. Function sources include citrus fruits like orange, lemon, guava and amla. Amla is the richest source of vitamin C. And among the vegetables we get vitamin C from bell peppers, kale, broccoli and cauliflower. And our next vitamin is vitamin D. Vitamin D helps to maintain our bones healthy and strong. And it also helps in the absorption of calcium and other minerals like phosphorus. You know students, sunlight plays an important role in the formation of vitamin D. From sun we get sunlight and our body makes vitamin D with the help of sunlight. And which in turn vitamin D makes our bones healthy. So we should take early morning sunlight every day for about 15 minutes. So apart from the sunlight, various sources of vitamin D include milk, beef liver, cereals, eggs, sole, pork, mushroom and ricotta cheese. Now what about vitamin E? It keeps our skin very healthy. So what are the sources? Olive oil, coconut oil, sunflower oil, all the oils and vegetables include broccoli, kale, spinach, avocado, almonds and peanuts. Now vitamin K, this is one also important major vitamin as it helps in the clotting of blood and it regulates the calcium levels in our body. Sources include again green leafy vegetables like spinach, asparagus, broccoli, beans, soya beans, eggs, strawberries, meat and fish oils. So to students from this we learn that we should consume yellow and green vegetables as they keeps our eyes, skin healthy. So we should take these vitamins. Now next our topic is minerals. So like vitamins these are also required in very small amounts but are very important for the growth and the maintenance of body. So important minerals include iron, calcium, potassium, phosphorus and iodine. Let's know about their functions. Now 
iron it helps in the formation of hemoglobin which is a protein present in the red blood cells which are very important for carrying oxygen so this is the structure of hemoglobin these are the iron molecules that bind the oxygen molecule so what are the sources we get it iron from apple spinach beetroot and meat so you have heard that uh, saying na eat apple a day keeps the doctor away so we must have one apple a day for getting required amounts of iron mineral in our body now next is calcium calcium helps in the formation of bones and teeth so sources include eggs milk kale and almonds next is potassium it is required for maintaining blood pressure regulates the muscle and heart contraction sources are potato tomato avocado and spinach and what about iodine iodine plays an important role in the formation of thyroid gland which plays an important role in the growth and the metabolism so sources include are iodized salt fish and seaweed phosphorus helps in strengthening the bones and the teeth so what are the sources it is present in banana milk eggs and fish so hope students you have understood this topic vitamins and minerals the first part i have covered in my uh, part 1 you can get it in the description box the link is given below so if you like my video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you